Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to see you again at, uh, welcome to see you again. <laughs> Good to see you again. Welcome. It is rum o'clock, as you can probably tell. And I haven't did a video in about a week. Um, I've been stockpiling on uh, some, on my masseuses this last little while. And I even had a, I, I had a, a Tara Beams Mark. Tara Beams Mark from uh, Louisiana called and asked, how many masseuses do I have? By the way, this is a hockey video. Everybody keeps on telling me, well, get, let people know that it's a hockey video when they start it. I'll shut it off. It's a hockey video, but we need some, we got some important business to take care of first. I have nine now. Uh, we, we carry nine masseuses down here in the basement. Uh, you never know when you're going to need them, right? And uh, so you've got, and we have, of course, the, uh, oh, uh, Jaime's Body Lube. Jaime's Body Lube, it's the best that I said it. Make sure you're well lubed, boys and girls. We have the dispensers around available for whenever I might get a kink or something like that. Somebody else asked me how I afforded that. So, well, see YouTube videos. I'm a YouTube sensation, don't you know? So I just pour everything into my masseuses and Nutella, uh, that's a Nutella. Um, I get the body lube uh, because I'm the uh, assistant vice uh, CEO of uh, Jaime's Body Lube, so they, they pretty much get it unlimited, but um, that's where most of my money goes. Anyways, thanks for the question, my dear, I'm, and please send me your letters. I love them. We read them we read like for minutes a day. I read those letters and uh, enjoy every minute of it. Okay, we're on to the St. Louis Blues, boys and girls. Uh, we've just did the San Jose Sharks, and we're getting down to almost all the teams with 30 some or some odd days or whatever to go until the season starts. So um, my procrastination has been right on point. I put the pro in procrastination, by the way. The St. Louis Blues, again this year, as they are every year, are a contender. Um, it's, it, it's almost baffling how they haven't won a cup by now, the way they've been built. Uh, the great thing about the St. Louis Blues is there's no team that has more depth than them at every position consistently as they do. I would think that eventually that would get them a cup because that alone can, can uh, uh, as injuries pile up at the end of the season in the playoffs, that alone should be able to get you some, get you there. But it just hasn't been happening. I mean, you got Pittsburgh Penguins that w were injured all the shit last year. Um, shouldn't have won the Washington series, but they just make it through. And why is that? I'm not saying this is the total answer, but it's something that St. Louis might think about. And it's something that I was saying they should have did they, before. Um, I think they should have traded uh, Peter Angelo and signed Shattenkirk, um, assuming Shattenkirk was going to sign there, that is, and got themselves a big center because the problem St. Louis has had, the only issue they've had is they've never had the big center. They've had good depth at center, but never big center. So let's get into their lineup. Uh, the first, Their first line, Schwartz, um, Shen, and Steen, is... An excellent uh, a line. I I not bringing in Shen. I'll uh, just temper your enthusiasm, boys and girls. He's more of a power play specialist. His all around game isn't that great, but I believe St. Louis power play wasn't great last year, and he'll probably fit well in this line. But this is again them going with let's have as much depth as we can rather than taking the big center. And I'm I hope that for your sake that that doesn't bite them in the ass. Um, they brought back Sabotka for on the left side for their second line, and we'll see how he pans out. I mean, he should be a third-line guy. They have him, and I'm doing this from the hockey news, and that usually is done with conversation with the teams. I personally don't like Sabotka here. Or, 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 or Sabotka there. I would take Fabry and put him there. Um, he should be ready for second-line duty now, but I'll talk about that in a second. Stasny and Tarasenko, oh, it's a fantastic line. Um, Stasny is underrated defensively, but probably a little overpaid. Uh, probably, I think the Stasny contract is one of the big reasons why they haven't been able to get the big center. I never liked the signing, 
and it looks like it's continually biting him in the ass. Not that Stastny's a bad player. He's just a little overpaid for a guy who's not really a number one center. Um, Tarasenko this year, I hope he can take the st even a step up further. He's been consistently 35-40 goal scorer, but um, he's still young, and he really should be improving. And I saw an article on this that was very good. Um, this year, if he can get up to the 50 goal mark, uh, that should put St. Louis in really good stead. Um, Berglund, Fabry, that Fabry, let's put Sabotka there and Payarvi. Pe that is a fantastic third line. That might be one of the best third lines in the West. Uh, talk about uh, a shutdown third line. I, I don't think there's anyone better. It is really, really good. And that's the great thing about having depth like St. Louis does. Uh, Brodziak, um, they have Tage Thompson making, the for making it this year with uh, Sanford. And that's a possibility. But I think he's probably going to be sent down. Um, the, what they did bring in is Thorburn and Bennett. I don't like Thorburn, um, you know, just to play for injuries or something like that. But Bennett is a really good pickup. All the uh, stats guys, the, the advanced stats guys will tell, will, will tell you that. Um, uh, for a fourth-line guy, Bennett, I think he's probably playing where he should and then play him on the power play. I think it's an excellent grab. And again, you've got so much depth. You can throw Thorburn on your fourth every once in a while when somebody's injured. And then in the middle, if you're depth in the middle, you've got uh, Bar 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 Barbeski. Jeez, oh, I should have wrote that down better. I can't remember how you say it. Barshevsky, I believe it is. Um, Barshevsky. He is excellent centerman. Um, where he's going to play in the lineup is not sure yet, but he, can, he has second-line offensive uh, capabilities, and he could be coming out this year. So again, you've got so much depth down the middle. It definitely make you definitely make the playoffs with this kind of depth because injuries aren't going to hurt you. Um, on the left side, you have Yaskin and a guy named Blaze, who I really really like. His name suits him well. He's fast. I think he's an excellent fourth guy. Um, they picked up Sanford from Washington, and I like him too. So here you go. You have like so much depth in this lineup all the way through. Guys that can play third or fourth line. I got there's going to be guys that are going to hit the waiver wire that will easily be snapped up by other teams. Uh, defense. I better get going here. We're going long. Uh, Peter Angelo, Bolmeister, Pareko. I already said I would have traded Peter Angelo, and not because he's a bad player, but he is. I think he's he's overrated at this stage of his career. Uh, however, he's still excellent. And um, Bo Meester, I love Bo Meester. A lot of people slag him, but his defensive game is second to none in the NHL. He's fantastic. Even at this age, his speed gets him through. Pareko, wow. I mean, he's their number one as far as I'm concerned right now. Edmondson, Gunnarsson, um, solid, solid five, six guys. Um, and then you have uh, Schmatz. A young kid who's coming up probably can play this year. Bertuzzo and Prosser. I mean, your depth is fantastic again on defense. No problems with depth in the NA for St. Louis this year. Again, Jake Allen and Hutton are... I really like Jake Allen. I know he hasn't hit a stride completely this year, but I do believe he will. If Jake Allen reaches his potential that he could be could get this year... Um, I th a lot of people aren't selling St. Louis, but I'm teetering on maybe taking St. Louis to win the West this year. And this is the first time I've said that. So we'll see how it goes. Wow, I'm going long here, boys and girls. That's my full 42%. I hope you're enjoying all these pearls of wisdom falling on your lap. I hope you are. And if you are, watch more, subscribe and all that. Lots of love to you. Have a great day.